Hello, this is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge, Straight Razor Sales and Service. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you all the gear that you need so that you can have a nice, comfortable, enjoyable straight razor shave. <clears throat> okay, let's show you the most exciting thing first. The most exciting thing is the straight razor. <clears throat> this one here is... Uh, is a 7 8 wide double duck square point. I will refer to this from now on as the spike. This is a German razor. It's got a very nice stamp on each side. It has uh, two ducks uh, and it's very nice. These scales, which are the handles, I replaced and these are my creation. Uh, it's made out of Kiernite, which is a very nice product because it doesn't absorb any water, doesn't warp, doesn't fade. Very, very nice. Okay, so that's that. The next razor here, this is the first real straight razor that I bought. It's a Philharmonica double, double Temple, which means double tempered. And uh, I made these scales here also. Out of, out of wood. I can't remember what kind of wood it was, but uh, they sure are holding up. So this is double tempered, and that means for me to hone this razor, I have to spend quite a bit of time to achieve that final product, which means a perfect, comfortable shave. Uh, but once you get to that point, this thing right here will last for a year. Very nice razor. Uh, the next razor, this razor here is called a top plate. It's a 5 8 wide. It's got the spike. The reason I prefer the spikes is because they just have a goatee and you can just cut that goatee in really sweet with the, with the square tip. Uh, it's an excellent shaver. These scales here I made it myself. Uh, they're camel bone uh, with the uh, buffalo horn wedge. Uh, I actually made these for another razor. And they're, they're kind of awkward. I don't like them. They're, they're awkward. But the, this razor is just a really great shaver. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it. This one right here is a 6 8 square point uh, cape. This razor right here, out of all the razors I have, I think I prefer this one the most because it shaves so well, holds an edge so perfectly, and it's just a nice razor, man. Uh, it's got a square point, so... <clears throat> this one here is a 6 8 round point. Uh, 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 what is this thing? A Bismarck... Uh, Dovo Bismarck, that's right. I just got this one not long ago. Uh, this is a very beautiful razor. It's very ornate. Shaves extremely well. And the reason that there's a difference between a, a square tip and a round tip, the round tip is just safer to use. Uh, I've nicked myself with the with the spike a couple times. Uh, so this one here, I'm going to give this to Brother John. This is the uh, five eighths uh, Clover brand Morlay. Uh, it's a uh, very nice shaver. Um, and it's, it's a little bit shorter than the other razors you can see. Uh, I might give him a there. Let's take a look at the difference here. So, uh, anyway, so that's the Morlay. This one right here is the Fawn Razor 7 8. It's a square point. It's a Japanese razor, original scales, beautiful scales, beautiful razor. This thing shaves so sweet. But it does take a little bit more honing throughout the year to keep it that way. Very nice razor. Um, I don't have, I don't keep junk razors. All right, so let's look at some brushes, okay? Okay, uh, this one right here, I've, I've used this quite a bit. It's a good all-purpose all razor or a, a brush. It's got the long handle. I think it's two and a half inches. Uh, this is a two-band badger brush. So it's a natural natural uh, fiber. Uh, I like the long handles so you don't get you know shave soap all over your fingers. 
Uh, this one here is another two-band batcher brush. It's a little bit shorter. This is this one here really splays out very nice, as you can see. So uh, this one here is a two-band batcher brush. I made the I made the handle myself on my lathe. I drilled a hole in it. And I just kind of formed it up and did my thing. This thing splays out. I look at that thing. <laughs> This is a this is probably my uh, this is the ugliest brush I got, but hey, I made it right. This one right here is this here this brush here I got from a guy in uh, Colorado Springs named uh, Scott Kennard. He made it especially for me the Bronco colors. It's a two band badger brush. It's a little bit stiffer, uh, but uh, yeah. He so he made this, and I'm going to give you a link below so that you can contact him for any type of brush suit he's got you know it's not that expensive either I got this I think 45 bucks uh, but I also bought this uh, b this uh, bowl see how it's got to take the, the uh, little flange like right here that's what I was telling you about it's, it's just so easy to hold on to and uh, it's uh, made out of bird's eye maple and he stained it blue uh, on the inside it's got the fluting so that it assists with building a lather. Um, he sold sells that also. Very nice, very nice. This one right here is called my monster brush. It's a synthetic brush, which means you don't have to soak the bristles like you would with the natural. So you just wet it, shake it out, and just start going for it. But uh, this one here is so big, I call it it's kind of a it's kind of a soap hog, so I don't I don't use that so much. But I got a smaller version of that. This is the only brush I have that is brand new, and it's it's pretty. It's a pretty nice brush. It's the same exact same exact brush, pretty much, uh, except it's smaller. See so how the diameter of the knot down here is is just a little bit smaller. This is a nice brush. It's very very soft. Okay, so that's the brushes, except for one more. This one here is a three-band badger brush made out of uh, stabilized burrow wood. Uh, it was made in two pieces, uh, and one was used. The, the, the stabilizing material was in blue on this lower piece, and red on the top piece. This is made out of uh, bird's eye maple. And this brush is so nice. This is like a very nice I, I always thank this guy for making this for me or for giving it to me. But this brush, when you, when you use it, you can't even feel it on your face. Very, very nice. Now you're going to need a holder to hold your brushes upside down. I made, I just happened to make this one. I just had nothing better to do for a while. So I made this one here. But it's important that you hang it, you get a holder so that you're not um, allowing the water to seep into the glued end of the brush. So, all right, so next, let's look at some shave, some uh, soap, huh? This right here is something you can get at Vitamins Cottage. It's called Kiss My Face uh, Moisture Shave. And uh, you put this in your bowl and you lather it up, and it is a very, very nice soap. It's like amazing. And it's all natural, feels good on your face. After your post shave, is also very nice. This right here is Pro Rosso Red. Uh, I have uh, another brand new container of this. But this is Pro Rosso Red. It's got a nice sandalwood scent. It's very, very nice. Very pleasant. Every man should have this in their den. Uh, the shave is perfect. Everything is perfect about it. I'm not showing you anything that's not great, man. So this right here is the Pro Rosso Red pre shave. You put this on your face. Uh, before you put the soap on, rinses off your hands really nice, very nice. Because uh, you've got to remember something when you shave with a straight razor or shave at all, you know, you, you kind of uh, put your face through a little bit, you know what I mean? So you want to protect it and soothe it as, as much as you can. This is a, this is a uh, sandalwood uh, aftershave. Uh, it's very nice. It's not a very strong scent, it's not a, 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 a cologne or nothing, but. Once you put it on your face, it feels very, very good. It smells good while you're using it. Uh, this is very nice. Really good for your face, too. Now, uh, let's see. Some more soaps are going to be the Rustic 
sh or wet shaving products, mahogany. This is the one we talked about before. Anything from wet shaving products is just top of the line. Very satisfying to use. The lather is nice. Gives you a post great post shave feel. Uh, this one here comes with uh, most most of the the uh, wet shaving products products come with an after shave, or you can buy it. it. Doesn't come with you to buy it. This here is the after shave, and once again, it's a it's a little bit of a stronger sense. Uh, it's kind of between a cologne and an after shave sense. That's how strong it is. It's very manly, very nice, very very nice. It's one of my favorite products. This one here is uh, I know you can't see the label, but if this is a uh, a glycerin soap called uh, Dragon's Blood from Mama's Bear, and it's very interesting because uh, any any glycerin soap this usually comes in a puck, and that's how I got it. You put it in a container like this, and you put it in the microwave and let it just melt down like 30 seconds or so. Let it melt down and let it solidify, and there you go. Uh, the good thing about the glycerin soaps is that you can do that. Plus, they're such a hard soap they last forever. This scent from Mama's Bear is Dragon's Blood is so outstanding. It's like a blood orange and it's just really a rich, rich, rich scent. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, uh, some of the aftershaves I bought that are very nice are any of the Mirasol products. This one here is Mirasol Pink. Uh, I've had this uh, for a while and use it all the time because I want to kind of uh, keep it, keep it, you know. But uh, this uh, this is a Spanish-made product. It's got a really cool bottle, right? Got a really cool bottle. But when you shave and you put this on your face, it is so absolutely soothing and it's so perfect. It's got a nice clean scent. It's just a very nice product. Very nice product. Uh, another product I like to use is this right here. Uh, this is a, it's called uh, Irish Mousse, uh, and uh, it's an old German scent. It's been around for a long time, and um, it's a, just a nice product, man. Love the scent. Uh, like I said, it's older, older scent. But, uh, alright, so that's that. So let's talk about some straps, huh? This is my, uh, these are my personal straps here. These are what I sell. This is uh, 18 inches from 18 inches from here to here, and it's got a nice cowhide hide leather. It's got a nice drag when you when you when you uh, strap with it, and uh, this also comes with a 19 what is it 1965? I think this was a 1965 vintage fire hose. So that's that's a great product to use on your on your razor. The good thing that's about this is that it's made out of all anodized steel. It's got the snap on one side. I can give you one or two buckles on this side here. The uh, Chicago screws are anodized steel also, which means everything, all this is all going to last a long time. Um, but the best part about this is that it's a nice little strop. It's a good beginner strop. If you cut the leather, it's easy to replace because you just back the screws out and replace it, right? This is my personal strop. It's got the same metal on it. Uh, it's got a bit, a little bit different um, leather. It's got the same fire hose, vintage fire hose on the back, and it's got the uh, same anodized steel. But I got two buckles on mine. See, so that's it, man. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, so yeah, so you know what. Uh, even if you're not shaving with a straight razor. It's still a good day for a shave. Alright man, you take care, alright? Alright, bye.